Hello everyone, welcome back to Quick Tracks Draft Strix Haven. We're gonna try more seven win runs. Maybe just any non-silver quill. Ooh, although I see some black and white stuff at the top, like the whole pack is black and white. Okay, maybe we're gonna be going that way for now. I mean Spectacle Mage is fine. But there's a lot of black and white in this pack. Okay, I think we take the Orique Lore Mage, right? <clears throat> the Tenured Inkcaster is good. Um, <clears throat> but I assume the Orique Lore Mage is better? Like, it's 4 mana 3-3 three, three with an ability that, like, lets it get out of control all by itself, right? Actually, it's rated as just, like, fine. But it's a solid playable card. A good card. Um, and I think still better than the rest of this, right? It actually likes Umbral Juke more. Huh. Well, I'm taking the Orique Lord. You can't stop me. More silver quill. I mean, I guess everyone's gonna be drafting black white just like because they can't help it, but that doesn't mean I should do something different. There's just like only black white cards in these first two packs. Um Duress is not that great, neither is Fracture. Humiliate is pretty good though. Reduced to memory is an okay sorcery, not that good, but... Hmm. Explosive Welcome is good if you have the right deck for it. Um, I don't think it's, like, insanely great. Yeah. Um... <clears throat> I think we're taking one of these two black cards. Exhilarating Elocution is, again, fine. Um, but I... I like the arrogant Poet. Extus? Or just Inkling Summoning? Extus, I think, is a bit better. They're both pretty good, though. Eager first year is not especially good. Neither is anything else in this pack. And this happens to be in my colors, and it's a two drop. Clever Lumamancer. I like that one, generally speaking. Zephyr Boots can be pretty good, but... Um, well, I guess I don't have much in the way of flyers yet, but I'll take the Lumamancer. Star Pupil or Crushing Disappointment? Both fine. I guess we're just playing black white aggro so far. Guiding voice, sure. Actually, Pilgrim is better. Okay, just keep drafting Silver Quill every game. Um, yeah, this is a decent aggro card. Elocution came back, okay. Nice top end. Ageless Guardian. Eh. I'll probably just sideboard it, actually. Not likely to end up running it. This actually, if we have our curve low enough, this might not be horrible. I'm going to draft it for now and then, like, probably sideboard it, but I'm putting it here so that I 
it takes a bigger act of will to unsideboard something to even like remember I have it than it does to cut it. So I'm putting it here to reflect that I think it might actually be playable, whereas usually I don't think it is. Uh, Gnarled Professor, not that amazing. Like, Necrotic Fumes and Inkcaster are both fine, so is the Poet. Um. I think we want the Inkcaster, probably, like... Maybe not. Maybe I just want to keep drafting little dudes and hitting them in the face. I already have a fair amount of heavy stuff. Um, Necrotic Fumes, like, I, I do have a learn card somewhere. Oh, no, I didn't even take that. The, the guiding... Um yeah, just give me give me another two one. <laughs> Thunderous Orator, that is pretty good, I think. So is the Silver Quill Campus. But this is a two mana two two that um can gain flying and maybe some other stuff if I get the right creatures. Dramatic finale. Oh, that's perfect. This is a pretty good pack. We're going to get something back probably, right? Like maybe the campus, maybe a poet, essence infusion. These are all totally fine. But this is a really nice way to, like, just go over the top at some point. Like, I play a few creatures, get a little damage in, turn four, drop this, and just keep smashing face. Another Humiliate, or just a two-drop, or Inkling Summoning. I think another Humiliate is pretty good. Take a Dusk Mage. We have a few things that could put counters on it. Uh, think about Expel. Is that it works on tapped creatures. Which means if we're like going face, it probably won't do anything most of the time. I think it's Unwilling Ingredient or Silver Quill Campus. And I've taken, like, quite a lot of, like, cards, and I think most of them are playable. So I'm a little bit thinking maybe I should just, like, rather than taking a mediocre card right now, I could just take a land. Um, that would help a little bit with my mana base. Um... I do have some concern about it entering tapped, and, like... I, I think I should usually be able to use this with something. Like, <laughs> Mage Hunter, right? Kind of cool, I guess. I don't think I want the Spiteful Squad. Four mana 2-2 two, two is just not exciting. I do have five non-creature spells for the uh, Auric Lore Mage. He's probably still good enough. He does have to tap to get that, though. I guess it's fine. Like, you can just attack with a 4-mana 3-3, three, three, and then if they have a creature that makes that undesirable, then instead you can buff him until that becomes desirable.
I wonder if Rise of Exodus might be too slow also. Oh, there's my learn card. I thought I didn't have any, but I do have one, it turns out. How, I mean, how good is Mage Hunter? It's like, it's okay. Um... Silvercoat Campus is rated a bit lower than it um, on, as a first pick, but we're not first picking. I just, this isn't, I don't want that. I want to make sure that I can actually play all my spells. Don't get color screwed. Juke, I guess. Hmm. <clears throat> Pledge Mage, maybe? A 3-mana three 3-1 three might even be better. Yeah, okay. Is that a combat professor? No. Plum the Forbidden? No. Crushing Disappointment. I could take some draw if I think I'm going to be dumping my hand early. That's fine. We did get the Tenured Ink Caster back. I have two Humiliates and a Star Pupil for counters already. This guy likes counters. This makes counters. I don't know. I, I should run it. I like Elocution. It is good in this deck. Um, <clears throat> I'm just not sure if I want a 5-drop. I can kind of try to close out the game, I guess. But it's really more of a grind card. And maybe I'm just going to take the 2-mana 1-2 flyer. Yeah. Your first year or another campus? I'll take another two drop. Like I have a lot, but sort of what I'm trying to do. All these campuses coming by. I wish I'd taken the Mage Hunter, I think. Guiding voice? I don't know. I have a lot of, like, tolerable cards. I'm just going to keep drafting campuses, basically. Elocution. Nice. Defend the campus is good. Probably I'm going to end up cutting some of this stuff. Well, I'm going to have to, right? I already, I already sideboarded the Detention Vortex. <laughs> I made all this big talk about how I was putting it here so I wouldn't forget I had it. I, I'm not sure what I did. What the heck is this? I've seen this land before. Okay, so it's a, it's a dual color land, not in my colors, that usually doesn't enter tapped. Pretty good. But not for me, obviously. Behind Gambit? Like, what am I cutting here? Rise of X is probably too big. Tension Vortex just isn't very good. I don't know. <clears throat> Get some damage in, make the opponent spend three. If there ever was a Silver Quill deck to run it in, it's this one. It's running a ton of cheap stuff. And we want to kill him quickly.
I'm sort of married to all of these cards already. <laughs> I guess um, the Stone Rise Spirit isn't that good. <clears throat> I do want to keep a couple combat tricks like Beaming Defiance around. I can cut the Detention Vortex. Still running seven instants and sorceries. <laughs> Detention Vortex also kind of combos with Umbral Duke. You can exile one of their creatures and make them sack the other if they have two and like... You could, you could put the weak one in detention so that you can juke the strong one. Doesn't seem that likely to work, but could happen on occasion. I'm not sure the Dusk Mages are that good. They're like a little slow. Yeah, just like give me a juke, I think. <clears throat> and I'll hope to wheel the elocution, probably. I have three, but that's good. It's kind of my finisher. Clever Lumamancer looks like the pick here. Unwilling ingredients, okay. Should I take another Pledge Mage instead? I guess. I have a lot of ones already. Well, three. I mean, I wouldn't mind more, but I'm not dying for them. Uh, Novice Dissector is the top pick here, but I probably don't want to run it. Another defend the campus doesn't seem very good. Well. It is a sort of a finisher and it's removal. Okay. Shadewing Laureate came back came came around in, in pick six. That's a little surprising. Kinda of great to have a three drop, and I love flyers. Silver Quill Apprentice, oh, hmm. I want both of these cards. Hmm. Pilgrim of the Ages this doesn't fit with the deck. If I have three lands already, that's like as many as I want, pretty much. Like, yes, I have some more expensive cards, I want some eventually, but I don't want to play a three mana two one in order to get them. I think I'll take the study break over the the uh, creature. Essence infusion is probably not great. Yeah, I'm gonna skip that. Elocution did come back. I mean, I'm running a lot of fours. If 
but I still think this is like kind of great. Better than a Divine Gambit, right? Yeah, I can't afford Divine Gambits. Unwilling Ingredient is decent. What would I cut? First year, maybe? I have to cut something anyway. Maybe I have a few too many exhilarating elocutions. And I can run like this. I think one crushing disappointment is enough. Oh, that's right. I'm running so many cheap spells, I could probably do 16 lands and put one card back in the deck. I mean, I have a few fours, but... Oh, so I wouldn't want to do 15 lands. I think this is fine to cut one of them. And what am I putting back in? Hmm. An elocution or an eager first year, I think. I have 10 instants and sorceries, so this should go off fairly often. But it's a little bit awkward to use this magecraft ability because... I'm going to want to use it before combat most of the time. I don't know. I guess I could keep it as a combat trick and then play an instant in combat if I have instants. I guess. They try to... Yeah. Let's, well, since we just cut a land, let's take a cheap thing and put it in the deck. Or, you know, what about Guiding Voice? No lessons? Is that correct? I mean, Draw and Discard is still okay, I think. It's a cheap Magecraft card. Or Magecraft Activator that can help me filter. All right. Well, it's not a, it's not an instant, I guess. That's a little annoying, but. All right, here we go. This is the most aggressive Silver Quill of my many recent Silver Quill drafts. We'll see if I can manage to play it correctly. Two lands? That seems like enough. I'd like a black one eventually, like a swamp rather, maybe the word to use. Um. <clears throat> Found it. Alright, and I believe we play the 2-2 two -two here, because I don't have any activators for these guys yet. I guess I should have attacked first and seen if they choose not to block because of some combat trick, but there's no way I have a two-mana combat trick that kills that, so they would have blocked. Don't. Actually, I don't think I would. Well, I wouldn't like being rejected. I was thinking maybe it would be okay if they used up their counter spell, but um, this does gain flying, right? But uh, actually, reject only works on creatures, so it wouldn't help me with getting the dramatic finale down. 
All right. That's not too bad. I don't want the dramatic finale down now. I'm worried they might counter it. And I want to get a bunch of creatures first anyway. I don't want to humiliate now either. I want to save it for when these guys could attack with it, so... I guess I should have... <sighs> attacked first, seen if they tapped out, and then maybe played this 4-drop at that time. I know I'm drawing a decent play next turn, by the way, which is nice. I do get to see their hand. All right, so this is great. Um, am I worried about dying to Leyline Invocation? I could exile one of them. They could still play the other for a 6-6. Six, six. I don't want two 6-6s. Six, I think one is kind of tolerable. Obviously, they just block 2x. Yeah, right. That's why it was right to attack with this, because they aren't going to block it. Okay, here comes Leyline Invocation number one, and... Luckily, no number two. If you want to kill my zero one, I nah, I don't know. We'll see if you kill the one one. <clears throat> I guess they don't have to. They can. I probably should have held the one one back. They'll just block it with the zero four. And I would want it available to block the 6-6 six, six should they choose to attack with it. Oh. Nice. Resolution order. Okay. 
I want this to resolve first. Oh, but I still have to target them both. I always forget. Before either one resolves. Well, this is this is exactly what I dreamed of the deck doing, so that's pretty cool. Go ahead, I dare you. Attack me. I don't know. Attacking with these is silly. They're not going to block, right? Maybe they are, actually. I'm threatening 9. If I have any instant, this is lethal. I don't, but they don't know that. Double block, sure. Alright, I'll kill the 4-4. Four four. Did this a non-token creature? No. Creature with flying. Okay, that worked pretty well. And I don't think we need to, like, you know... At the end of the game, I was drawing more lands than I wanted, but I think 16 is still, like, fine. There was definitely a phase during the game where I wanted to draw more lands, and I got exactly as many as I wanted. Uh, no two drop, which is a bit disappointing. Two or one, but I'm obviously going to have to keep this. <clears throat> okay, this is the deck I most need those cards against. Kind of a shame to get blown out by an aggro deck when you're running 16 lands yourself, but... I mean, I, I'm not guaranteed to get crushed yet. Red black. Yeah, I don't need to duke that. That would be insane. And my my lore mage actually like threatens to put a stop to a lot of their stuff. If I ever draw a second black. It's 
pretty rude. That's also rude. Oh my gosh. Um, I mean, that's not that bad. It just means I lose my 3-1 to a 1-1, which... Okay, kind of stinks. I guess I would have chosen to let it keep attacking if I had the choice, so for sure. Quick inkling summoning. But I get the juke now. And suddenly things aren't so bad. I mean, I would have rather drawn one planes to play now and a swamp to play next turn, but sure, swamp's okay. I don't have any flyers at the moment, which is kind of sad. I'm on a clock, but it's not that fast a clock yet. And eventually I may find some way to kill that. Okay, that's scary. Surely no double blocks or single blocks? Really? What do they have untapped? A red and a black? go for the less greedy route and kill the 2-1. I'm worried about Professor's Warning. If I if I target to kill this first, they can buff it and I don't kill anything. Okay. Well, wrong. Oh, maybe I should have played this first. I was I was holding it back to like bluff a combat trick, but I could have played it first and moved the counters differently. That would have been an interesting thing to try. I, have, I represent eight on board next turn, and this is three more if they chose no blocks, although I assume they wouldn't. <clears throat> I assume they would try to trade with my Arrogant Poet, or kill the Arrogant Poet to stop it doing damage, and then and kill it. And then I would do, aha, and then it's actually a trade, and I also get in for eight still. Oh, wait. This is actually bigger. This will be a five, six when I attack. because of the instant here. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, all right, so they're threatening five next turn. If they have any burn at all, then making this a flyer is bad for me. I don't even know if they're going to want to block, honestly. I think I won't fly. I just, I don't think I could afford to be at, like, one against a deck with red. Oh, no. Yeah, if I'd made that a flyer, I would be dead right now, so... Sure. I'm sad about what has happened, but... Double block? No double block. It's gonna chump, okay. So if they have any damage at all, I'm dead. This this is threatening three. I guess if their damage is in the form of a buff, I could defend the campus and kill that monster. But if it's like face damage, then it doesn't matter. This looks like uh, the end of the, the end of the road. Well, okay, I need to draw something. That was not something. Okay, we attack with all. I think they have an easy answer here, but I'm not gonna work it out. Yeah, they block the the mage dude with their two one, and then there's nothing I can do. Can't do that. Well, I won't concede yet in case they accidentally like make their thing too big foolishly for no reason. I don't see any reason they would do it, but if they made that have four attack, I would be very happy. Obviously, they're going to pass to damage, and then... Close game. I mean, we, we curved out not very well that game. I guess that was the problem, right? We didn't get anything until we had a three drop. This, I mean, yeah, it has a two drop. If I get a third mana, it has this. Sure. Opponent mulligans. Nice to see. Can't see, got a card in your eyes. Huh? Too shady. 
All right, down to six. Now I really want mana. I've got all the cards I need to win the game with. I just need to be able to play them. I can only play one of these. I don't think I should swing with this and pay life. I could swing with it and not pay life? I don't really see what that accomplishes. I have one lesson somewhere, right? Inkling summoning, maybe? No. Maybe I have no lessons. Yeah, that's, that's right. I have a learn card that I chose not to play, but no lessons. <clears throat> okay, so I'll just I'll just run this out. No attacks. I don't really want to trade life right now. They are red blue, not red white, so maybe I should be trading life? I don't know. I don't want to trade creature. Well. Okay, fantastic draw. I can afford to just play this, right? Is there some reason I shouldn't? Going with the 1-1. One, one. Well, if I swing with the 1-1, one, one, they swing back with their 2-1. So I guess I can swing with both. If you have a reject, this is definitely worth it. Okay. No, I don't even want to do that because I have the dramatic finale eventually. Ouch. I guess I should have probably played this first. This game is not going very well. Just float five, huh? I mean, not float exactly, but... I can't play Dramatic Finale right now. I'm just too scared of them countering it. Although it really has to be Whirlwind Denial, doesn't it? No, Test of Talents is non-creature spell, I think. It's not instant or sorcery. Instant or sorcery. Okay, so actually, Dramatic Finale has a pretty good shot of landing. If they want to get the effect from their muse, they have to attack, and then they don't have a flyer? That's kind of my strongest selling point right now. There's their other flyer, so they can maybe attack now, although they're not going to. Okay. The 
Attack with you? And you were a 4-3 flyer, that would be pretty cool. Right? Or do I want them here? What if you were a 4-4 Vigilant? I'm worried about spreading myself... Like, not the opposite of spreading myself too thin. Putting all my eggs into this basket when... As red-blue, they may easily have a removal spell. Elocution can put more counters on something. You know, two two counters again. And I think maybe putting them here would be good enough. Cool card. Maybe I just play my two creatures and don't do anything too rash yet. I could attack with the 4-3. No need to fly. Oh, that's pretty good. But I can just make another one, so that's kind of cool as well. Okay, I mean, that last spell is a counter spell. I'm going to be pretty sad. Remember they can make a 3-2 creature whenever they want. I could draw instead. I think this is a pretty good elocution. I need to be able to attack with... Yeah. You start having flying, does it even help? I could make a 5-4. But I don't really want that, I don't think. Maybe I do. I just can't attack with very much. Well, okay, this turn I can because of the elocution. Everything gets buffed. So I want you to be a 4-2 for sure. Uh, 
Does this get menace? It does get menace. That's pretty cool. Maybe I should have given you the counters. Resolution order this one first, please. Actually, it doesn't matter because this is going to get it anyway. Uh, but I definitely don't want you to get hit by the 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, 3-3 three, three Menace Flyer. Ha ha ha, gotcha. I mean, I don't know. You can still block it and lose just the 3-1, but then I get in for a truckload of damage still. Okay. Good work. You're killing two of my things, and I only get one creature token for it. Yeah, keeping that 2-2 alive is actually great. I should have put the counters probably on this guy. I don't know. They would have... Mm, it would have been a 4-4 four, four this turn. They would have just blocked. Double blocked and killed it. But that would be with both of their flyers, and then I'd get in... These two things would both be alive? I don't know. Still, we know opponent doesn't have, like, anything in hand. I can play this pretty safely. They know what this card is, but I still don't really see a reason to play it. I guess they're, yeah, their 2-4 kind of just does everything it needs to. Give me more cards. <laughs> No attacks, please. Well, actually, hang on. This is a flying menace creature. And vigilant as well. We've seen that opponent is willing to play lands even when they don't need the mana, so if they keep the card in hand, we can assume it's not a land and humiliate them. And they would play it if it were a creature as well. Okay, cool. So no humiliation today. Probably never, in fact. I think it's just time for another elocution, putting counters on my flying menace. And then swinging with a bunch of 4-3s. You have to chump block and you're still one off lethal. You're still at one one life rather. The dramatic finale is kinda gross. But I'm really glad I picked those elocutions and there have been decks. I don't know. I kind of look at it as a, you know, doesn't really do anything most of the time uh, effect. But if you have even a couple creatures, it kind of does a lot. And this deck wants to play many small creatures, so it's it's beautiful. Yay, got him.
God, I'm only at two wins. It's been I feel like I've been playing this for hours, considering it's an aggro deck. Games should be fast. One of them was, I think. A little too much mana, but solid one, two, two kind of play. Now I have a one, two, and then play both of these as my three. This doesn't do anything, I guess. That's sort of the problem with the card. I think I'll play the Campus next turn, so I won't be able to play the Star Pupil, but I will be able to play the Lore Mage on four. Oh, never mind. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, now that I have two good things to do on three mana, I'm going to play this. I'm still not sure which of these. I think I should just load up on more creatures. I'm okay making this trade, actually, instead of paying to go in for flying. And if they have, like, big play or something, then flying would even help, so... Like, I think I'm worried, okay, maybe that they, they combat trick this, right? But some of the combat tricks would work even if I were flying. So I, I'm not going to pay two life to do it. I guess I could have played this and then gone in flying, and then if they kill it, I get a counter. Okay, yeah. I'm not thrilled about that. I was thinking about actually, you know, when I said most of the combat tricks work, I was like, well, what about Snakeskin Veil? I couldn't remember the card, but I knew there was this like green fancy art thing that, you know, flying over would have helped in that case. Ooh. Not happy about this. swing with this just to move the counter somewhere like here but I like having it as a blocker I think I don't know they're not attacking so why should I I don't want to make this a more promising target to remove That's a spooky one. I could throw this at it and turn this into a 3 3. Or just throw this into a way. And then make you into a 3 2 flyer? Let's do that. Oh, 
just gets in. Nice. They don't want the counters to move. Should have played this first so that I have black and white open in case opponents thinking about what combat tricks I might have. That's an instant. It could be useful as a trick with this thing. But I don't think that's really realistic. I hate their 6-6. Six, six. I guess I could play this on their turn. to block the f yeah okay I don't want to attack with anything in that case does not say activate only as a source I did, I did play a land that turn, though, right? I didn't just sit on the swamp for no reason? Mm, maybe I should block the 6-6? Six, six? Lose this, even? No, this is... Oh, this threatens to double. Oh, that sucks. I think I need to give away, like, my whole board here. I guess I'm, I feel kind of bad that I'm not using this guy, but. Oh, they're leaving the 1 1 alive. That's too bad. Sadly, they only discard it, so the bookworm they can put back pretty easily. But it'll be a little while. These are both pretty bananas. I guess I should have gotten rid of the other one because they can't just bring it back? I don't know. 
Wait, I have I have no outs here, right? The Amplomancer is going to kill me if nothing else does. This is going to kill me if nothing else does. What am I supposed to do about an 8-8, eight, eight, right? Let's just get out of here. Sure, this is some pretty good cards. I need a little black mana eventually. But I have a one and a two and a couple win conditions in hand. Mostly this one. Okay, I mean, this is not amazing, but it can draw me a land, maybe? Oh, I'm so good at this game. I don't see any particular need to juke any of this. I'll probably just play a juke for flyers at some point. Or a flyer. Okay, the resolution order matters. You need to resolve first. Oh, it doesn't matter because I have the Laureate. You should probably attack? Well, no, I have a 3-3. Three, three. All right, that's a good card. that good though, right? This doesn't do anything. I'm just gonna juke for a flyer at the on, on opponent's turn, I assume. In case they attack, I now have a 2-3 available. Not that it really matters. I should honestly just be attacking with both of these, probably. Is, yeah, they've got some stuff. I have to kill them pretty soon. Well, 
that might help. I can go in with that. I don't know. That's not. It's got a powerful effect. They're gonna kill the 3 3, of course. And then suddenly, uh, they might just run me over? I don't know. No, they're almost dead. I target... I don't know... This creature? Yeah, I think we have enough here. Well, obviously we have enough currently to just absolutely murder them. And they only have two mana. Yeah, okay, GG. Three mana. But I have 11 damage. That's pretty cool. Are we 3-2 now? I think so. Yeah. Uh, oh. with one more mana, this hand is playable, but not great. I think I need to mulligan this. It has a number of good cards, but not, like, a good hand. Okay, defend the campus is miles away. This is also not very good, but if I draw any land, I at least have a three drop. And I didn't really want to go down to five. Maybe I should have. Land on the battlefield tapped. It's a 2 2. Great pickup here. I will play this card, right? Although, actually, I think that was wrong. Because I don't want to sack it. I'm so close to Dramatic Finale. If they had, well, this discourages them from attacking. They're probably going to want to hold it back as a blocker now. I don't know. But the, the Laureate might have been better because it can attack next turn and actually get in. Inklings, okay. I have enough black? Yeah. No blocks. Ooh. Juicy, juicy, juicy. This before the Laureate, I think. Because I can get it in with... Well... If I, if I draw a land next turn, it'll be nice to have played this, because then I can play Laureate and Humiliate together. Um, but if I don't, I'll sort of have missed two damage off the Laureate, right? Mm, no, because they're putting down... They have Inklings coming up soon anyway. 
but the Laureate may well not do any damage. So let's just... Let's just do this. Now, they're probably still going to attack with their 2-2 because they're not going to want to block and make an inkling for me. Okay. The Humiliates were fine, but I don't mind. You I don't like very much. Oh, I did draw land, so I really... Opponent got that in just in time. I should have I should hold that back for blocking actually. What am I thinking? Opponent's never going to block a 3-1. I would like it to die. I mean, I, it would be fine with me if it died and I don't want this thing to attack. Just a horrible attack I made there. I don't see any need to play the planes. It could matter if I draw like um What's that card called? Crushing Disappointment, and then it draws some lands and also a thing I want to play. But I think it's more important to just like threaten that I might have some meaningful card. Although I think given that I thought so long, like what it can't be a one mana card, right? Opponent kind of has to know it's a land at this point. Maybe I can just play it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Humiliate me for attacking. It's a terrible attack. <laughs> okay, you know, here's the one card I was I, I mentioned, right? I'm gonna give it lifelink. And actually attack with it. Now, if they trade with the 2-2... Two, two, oh no, big play? No! Okay, well, I get a 3-2 back at least. It was, I was crushingly disappointed by what happened there. Where did it get three counters? Wasn't it a 2-2 before? How is it a 3-3? Three, three? Alright, I have to kill their lifelink guy or I'm never going to get enough damage in. Okay, looks like I'm never going to get enough damage in. And here, I wish I'd played that land two turns ago, because then I could play this and still scry.
kind of an unlikely outcome, but so also is the the value of the threat I had is like by by holding up this land is also pretty niche. You're just gonna like combat trick me again? No. Opponent just has too much life gain. I think our life totals would be pretty close if they hadn't been gaining life all this dang time. Also, I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, opponent has lethal on board and my hand is empty. Good game. Three wins. Kind of surprised. I feel like this deck is better than the last one I played with, and yet that one bruised to seven. Not really sure. I'm just bad at evaluating decks. At least I've gotten kind of okay at building them. Like, I haven't made an awful deck in a while. Or anyway, haven't had an awful performance. As you know, I can't even tell whether my decks are awful, so how would I know if I built one? Anyway, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.